What up nerds? Welcome back to Endgame. I'm Hoops4 and today we are reviewing Returnal. Housemark's first game on the PS5 was highly anticipated and Returnal did not let us down. This psychological horror, third person shooting roguelike has plenty of amazing content to keep you occupied for hours. This really, really is a great game, although it might not be for everyone. As such, we are going to be giving Returnal an 8 out of 10. Now let's go ahead and enter gaming. Enter gaming. Returnal checks all the boxes. Let's get that clear. The game itself has no glaring weaknesses. The combat is fun, the story is intriguing, it looks and feels amazing. However, it's not a cakewalk. Let's make that as up front and center as Housemark did. This game is not meant to be easy and it will kick your butt. There have been various tweaks since release, but it is still recommended to experience this game in all of the frustratingly difficult glory that from so I mean, Housemark designed it to be. Now that that's out of the way, in Returnal, you play as Selene, an astronaut that crashes on an alien planet after she receives a foreign transmission with a very personal signal name. You must shoot your way through different biomes of this alien world to try and escape and find answers to your questions. Along the way, you're also haunted, as the planet seems to know more about you than you know yourself. This kind of setting sounds like the perfect way to set up a psychological horror. It allows neat explanations to the roguelike room-shifting phenomenon. This game is decently creepy, nothing nightmare worthy, but definitely unsettling to the nth degree. Especially as the game progresses and the story unfolds, it's a tale worth experiencing. Now that's enough about the story, about the setup. Let's talk about the combat. The combat of this game is so incredibly fun. It's challenging, yes, but you will get better, because uh, trust me, the game does not get easier. As you get better, the game becomes more and more appealing. As you progress, you unlock a variety of alien weapons, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. A number of consumables and other helpful items lie in each room, and no two cycles are ever the same. The game performs amazingly on the PS5. The controller is utilized and feels completely in sync with the weapons in the game. The visuals are creepy as intended, but also they're clear as day. For as many bullet storms as there are in this game, I don't think I experienced any lost frames, which is really impressive. I did encounter some visual issues with floating items spawning incorrectly, but that's really the only technical error I came across in my 41 hours to platinum. The sounds are intense, heart pumping, and purposeful, and if you have a way to experience them in 3D like the Pulse headset, I strongly recommend it. Now we'll keep this short and sweet, because this game's been out for a while and you know what's what's said is said. But as we said before, there are no glaring weaknesses to Returnal itself as far as the gameplay goes. The biggest problem is that, quite simply, it just isn't for everyone. The difficulty curve is high no matter how you slice it. The slight horror elements may be too much for some people, understandable, and it does really take some investment to get the most out of this game. This is not going to be a game you pick up, play for 20 minutes a night, and really feel happy with. It's going to be a game that pushes you to do that one more cycle. If none of those issues apply to you, then this game is 100% a must-buy for your PS5. This 8 really is great. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Hoops4, and this is In Game. See ya, nerds. Thank you for watching, right here on In Game. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content.